Greetings all, Fanny here for Aquarius's weekly message. Aquarius, I hope you guys are having a good day. First card that came out is, oh lovely cards, can you please work with me darlings? The first card that came out for you is the tower. Now, don't freak out, don't jump out of your chair. It's a big scary card, I know. But the tower just means necessary change. The end of something that had to give up eventually because something new, better, and more amazing is coming in on the other side. The more one fights the change, the one, the more one resists things releasing, the more work you're going to have to do to retrieve that happiness. The more you try to keep everything the way it is, the longer it's going to take to get to the point of where you need to be because you still have to grow, Aquarius. There is still much for you to become, much for you to develop and see. Like, you're not done on your mission, so don't fight this change. Is it uncomfortable? Absolutely. Is it pleasant? No. But it is part of our experience. And it leads to prosperity with the Nine of Diamonds. You're able to so willingly and beautifully accept the blessings that the universe is bringing into you and all around you. Because we're, we're done fighting. Yeah, we're done fighting with the Nine of Crystals in reverse. We got tired of fighting everything. We got tired of trying to control the universe to be what we think it needs to be. And we just let it be what it will be because I promise you, what spirit has planned for you is so much more beautiful and more incredible than what you are dreaming of. Not to say that you're not dreaming of something incredible, but we limit ourselves. We do. We, we truly do. We live in ourselves, even in our dreams, on what we believe we can achieve, what we financially can, can strive for. We, we limit ourselves. And we want to move away from this because that is, that is anxiety. That is fear. And that leads to insomnia and restless nights. And we don't want that. Yeah. And, much like that card itself, the way it was moving, embrace the fool. Embrace the fluidity of life and just move with it. Let yourself go. If the world is going to burn, let yourself look fabulous while the world is on fire. I mean, that's a yes queen kind of energy. Yeah, and then I literally said that's a yes queen energy and I pick up the deck and it cuts to the queen of crystals with the star, with divine inspiration coming into you. I, I love that so much. Aquarius, you are so going to be all right. Stop fighting to control everything. Stop fighting to keep something in line that is ready to be released. Big picture thinking. There's a, a larger, more beautiful, expansive imagery that we are working into. Paleads energy, visionary, inspired ideas. That's a huge part of the star is inspired ideas. And look what she has on her hip, the star. See, you're going to be so all right. Earthened, learning how to be human in this world, but not of it. That's why it was so hard for you to give into this flow energy is because perhaps your soul has been in a different place. You are so developed that you, before coming into this lifetime, were not a human. You were another soul, another sort of vessel and entity perhaps, but it's okay to feel like you don't know what to do or where to belong. That's a feeling that many of us have. We the Hawthors, deep love, mother's milk, Birth is a portal. Change, death, the destruction. These are all avenues for birth. Rebirth, realignment, reawakenings. You're not, there's not going to be a point in your life where you just like, okay, I went through a spiritual awakening. I did a healing and now I'm good. No, it's going to be constant 
work. So that's why we have devotion and potency. Make your life a moving prayer. Because you will constantly be healing. Called soul gifts and training. It's time to step up. Yeah, much like this queen. It's time to step up because there are people who need you. There are people who will listen to the things that you have to say. Listen to your story. Listen to your unique perspective on things, Aquarius. And these will be part of your advantage. It will be your unique perspective. It will be your your mindset and in your dreams, your goals. And these will lead so much happiness. I see a lot, I'm, I'm drawn very much to the bird imagery here because the nine of diamonds and the star both have these birds that are like, one is bringing them a diamond and one is bringing them a flower. Or maybe it may even be a mutual exchange between them. But like, that's, a, that's another point, a mutual exchange. There wasn't that before. It was so rigid, it was so structured. I almost feel like this is a business type person moving into a completely different kind of world, different kind of style. Like, you fundamentally are moving into something, yeah, a new earth. It's happening. Keep holding the vision and he areth. Longing for the stars, homesick. I definitely feel that with the earth end, but it's happening. We're working towards it. You may have been on this journey for a long time, it feels like, but we have the potential and the ability to receive and achieve our happiness. It's the limiting belief. And that's what we want to release. That's what we want to move away from. To step into this full, beautiful, flowing energy. Where we could just learn what it means to be human. Learn what it means to love. And the full breadth of that. And I love this so much for you, Aquarius. Because we need people in this world to teach us to love. We need people in this world to teach us to share our stories, to see from different perspectives, to value differences and not ostracize them. We need beautiful, kind people like you, Aquarius. Because, like, Aquarius, that is the card of the humanitarian. So, don't fight this change. Because fighting it only leads to more pain. Fighting it only leads to more upset, heartache, and further work that you have to do because you'll just tangle everything up and then you'll have to untangle them and see their condition before moving forward and you might be more frayed and frazzled on the other end than if you just let things happen and I know the ego wants to be the one to be in control the ego wants to be the one to say that I did this I made all of this happen but we are of the earth and stars and sometimes we have to admit that we did things in a co-creation or that we needed help and that doesn't mean that you're weak it means you're incredibly strong connected and aware and that is a blessing Aries Aquarius I'm sorry my love I'm getting tired I love you <laughs>